Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, today's video is meant to be talking about incandescent blonde Ezlo's potential skill with a bunch of ideas from you guys. But I'm putting that video off either a day or so um, for two reasons. One, we got Excaplated the Blaster uh, revealed, so I wanted to talk about that as it was requested on the Discord. And two, I want you guys to go over to that video if you haven't already and leave a comment and leave a like. Telling me what you think the Gold Paladin VR, or what I assume to be the VR, skill will be. Um, I like some of them a lot already, and I plan on breaking down each and individual uh, skill that was that people have come up with and saying, giving my thoughts on it. I'm going to rate it on like a scale of 1 to 10, ignore that pop-up. And from there, I will also critique how I think the skill could be made better and more fitting for the clan so with that being said let's get into excaplate the blaster and guys this card is so 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 very extremely terrible in my opinion honestly i'm not the biggest fan of it we had a whole bunch of news today which i might cover in a video later today i might not it depends on how tired i am but let's break down its skill i'll rate it on a scale of one to ten of what i think and then give you my dislikes for it so uh, when place, cost counter blast one. Choose one of your choose one card from your soul. Put all other cards from your soul into the drop zone. And this unit during when this unit attacks during this turn, this unit battles all of your opponents. This unit battles all of your opponent's units in one attack. At the end of battle that it attacked, put two cards from your hand into soul. Retire this unit and ride one blaster blade from your soul as stand. If you if you could not ride, you lose. So my thoughts on this card. Well, let's start off with breaking it down. It's a grade four with twin drive. I already hate it. Now, granted, I know grade fours originally in the original grade fours that were in the deck, or the only one, which was transcending dragon dragonic novel. Um, it that was fairly common. Again, only one card, but hey, you know, gonna try here. Um, it's a 14 K base. It has the Force Imaginary Gift Mark. It, it does not stall you out on Grade Two, but I think its original was technically better, and I have that here, so I'm gonna drag that over now. And we're gonna compare it to its original, and trust me, there's a lot of text, and I actually own this card. So the original was a grade 3. A uh, hand, if you do not have a grade 3 Royal Paladin Vanguard, you cannot ride it. So this is already sticking true to that fruition. I do like this art better. The darker hair, the darker eye color. I like this art way better. But um, if you do not have a card named Blaster Blade in your soul, you cannot ride this unit. This doesn't state you need it, but you might as well be required to have it. Um, when... When this card is placed on rear, retire this unit. So it can't be placed on rear. This can only be placed on rear if you have two in hand and you already have one on van. So no, no loss there, I guess. Um, all right. So here's where its skills start getting to the similar. Counter blast three. Until end turn, this unit battles all your opponent's units in one attack. Pretty good. All right. Pretty standard. When this unit attacks, put all cards in your soul not named Blaster Blade into your drop zone. This unit gets 2k power till end of turn for each card put it put into your drop zone this way. Okay, so no power buff here. But, yeah, there's just nothing good there. Um, at end of battle that this unit attack, choose one card named Blaster Blade from your drop zone or soul. Write it as rest and put all cards in your soul into the drop zone. So, comparing and contrasting, I do state that this is the better card. Because no matter what, you would always have... So as long as you had a Blaster Blade in soul, you could always re-ride. If it was in drop zone, you could ride it. And you would just remove all cards from soul. If you got a pretty hefty soul built up, you got a 2k bonus for every card put, put out. So if you had 10 in soul, another 10k. I guess that's what the 4 skiff mark is. Um, comparing this card to this card, I do still think this is the better card. 
until you think about it logically actually this card is worse because you don't get a second vanguard attack but this card you're technically getting three drive checks in a single turn and what do i mean by that well blaster blade rides a stand at the end of the, its battle so um as soon as you attack with this as long as you have a blaster blade somewhere you're fine um a couple other things i have a problem with this card is the i believe it's the grade zero right or grade two no it is yeah it is the grade two that combos with this card so i like dragonic uh like novel this also has a card to go along with it and we're going to review that really quickly and again i'll talk about excablade a little bit more after so, when placed, cost reveal an Excaplade bla the blaster from your hand and retire it to your and return it to your deck. Not retire, return it to your deck. Search your deck for one Alfred early, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle deck. I don't like this. I like no. I like the whole transcending dragon dragonic novel. This I don't like. It's forcing us to use an Alfred early instead of King of Knights. Which I get why, because if people can't couldn't afford or didn't get their hands on four copies of King of Knights like a lot of people did, then they're stuck using Alfred Early, which isn't a terrible card, but at the same time, it's not a good card. So I see why they did it, but still, I don't like it. Um, as an overall for the Excaplade line, this card, if I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 Blaster Blades, it would be like maybe a 5 or a 6. It's not very high, but it's not super low. The card's useful. It's a nice finisher. You get three, you get two Vanguard attacks, a total of three uh, Drive Checks in one turn. So, not terrible. It also sets you up for another Grade 3 ride later on if you need to. But honestly, if you have to sit at grade two for a turn while your opponent's at whatever for a grade three you're probably bound to lose um the whole lose condition isn't terrible either i guess if i had to be honest there's a bunch of other news which we're going to quickly coast through in this so um bermuda triangles getting its anime soon um i don't know do you guys want me to review this when it first comes out because i'm not sure how i feel about this i'm kind of excited for it to see what it is but that's about all i'm gonna say looks like there's some more information on that there um there's this i think this if i remember correctly this is the to help the relief of the, from the hurricane that's happening recently or something like that i actually don't know what this is so yeah this is to help the hurricane it looks like so that's something really cool thank you bushiro for doing something like that now let me know if i'm just wrong i might be but uh we're getting forced gift marks these look nice why bushiro um the vanguard convention in japan uh some more stuff this is i'm super jealous about that okay bushiro listen we want nice things vanguard players are willing to spend the money for nice things look at these gift marks they are beautiful and i want them i'm jealous this is why the english variant of the game doesn't do well uh more stuff but sure is just getting a lot of cool stuff okay i just want that sword i don't even care i just want the sword um some more ig stuff i didn't mean to click on that twice i meant to click on this to see what it was um the characters in uniform i think these are like little plastics uh pops sleeves just basic stuff there was like so much to filter through and there's so many different units i love this picture of mordred i want to replicate that sword uh, some unique cards I'm gonna go over in another video. Uh, Midnight Bunny for an event. I want, I love Midnight Bunny. It's one of my favorite cards. Um, yeah, there's just really not too much here. Just Excaplade. 
Um, it's not a terrible card as a breakdown. It's a 14 to 8 base, a rewrite of a grade 2. I don't know what you guys really were expecting from this. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, being how massive in comparison the old card was. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Give me your thoughts. Do you like this card? Do you not like this card? Are you going to use it? Um, overall, please let me know, guys. And until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. Please remember to like and subscribe, especially if you're new. We're, if we break a 1,000 subscribers by the middle of October, I will triple all my giveaway rewards. That is two, three $50 gift cards and three Vanguard booster boxes, plus tripling all the giveaways of my 100 subscriber milestones at 700, 800, and 900. So please, please, it means so much. Share this video with your friends, and let's talk this out down in the comments below. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.